Mapping in ArcGIS Pro Creating a Map Layout Once you've created a map in ArcGIS Pro, you'll likely want to create a layout of that map and add elements such as a title, legend, scale bar, orientation arrow, and data source. You can then take the completed layout and export it in multiple formats to be used in a report or presentation. The process of designing a map layout takes place outside of the mapping workspace. Select the Insert tab and select New Layout. Select an appropriate map size. In this example, we'll select Landscape 8.5 by 11. The Contents pane has changed to reflect elements within the layout. You can still access your Map Contents pane by clicking between the Workspace tabs above the center workspace. Adding and orienting a map to a layout. To import our map into the layout, open the Insert tab and select Map Frame. Any map that exists within the project will be visible. Select your map. Click and drag across your layout to draw the frame. The easiest way to position and scale your map is by selecting the Layout tab above and clicking Activate. The map will now respond to panning and zooming within the layout the same way it would in a mapping workspace. Once you're satisfied with your extent, click on the Layout tab and select Close Activation. Elements To add map elements to the layout, select the Insert tab and observe the Map Surrounds category. Let's first add an orientation arrow. Using the drop-down beneath North arrow, select an appropriate North arrow. Click and drag to draw the arrow. To open the Format North arrow pane, double-click on the arrow. Here, you can make adjustments. Next, let's add a scale bar. Click and drag to draw. Once again, by double-clicking on the tool, we can change the scale bar settings. Change the scale units in the Format Scale Bar pane to the right, among other things. Now let's add a legend. Select the legend in the Insert tab and click and drag to draw. The legend will automatically populate with all the variables available in your map. To change the order or remove layers from your legend, expand the legend class within the Contents pane and click the checkbox. For more detailed instructions on legend formatting, please visit the link provided in the video description, or visit the Creating an ArcGIS Pro Legend video tutorial found in our playlist. To complete our map layout, let's add some text. Select Symbol above Text. Select a style of your choice. Click and drag to add text. Once again, by double-clicking on the map item, you can make changes. Repeat this process to include your data source. In this case, we retrieved our data from Statistics Canada. Within the Format Text pane, change text properties such as font size. Select Apply when you're done. Within the same text category, select Dynamic Text and select Spatial Reference. This option provides a lot of information and you can remove elements by selecting the Format Text pane. Here, different aspects of your spatial reference are organized into labeled blocks. You can delete these by highlighting them or clicking on them and selecting the Delete key on your keyboard. If you accidentally add a layout element that you're not pleased with, simply select it in the layout and click on the Delete key on your keyboard to remove it. With all the essential elements in place, your map is ready to be exported. Exporting your layout. Select the Share tab and above Export, select Layout. An export layout window will appear. Change the format to your desired file type and browse to the location in which you would like to save your layout. Select Export. Your map will be saved to your specified location. For more information on ArcGIS Pro, visit the UTM Library's ArcGIS Pro playlist.